Hey guys, it's B Wiley. Hoping you're having a good day today. So I was just talking to my cousin and it's Sunday, but this is going to go up sometime this week, probably like on Tuesday or Wednesday. I was talking to my cousin and I was like, give me an idea. I need some ideas. If you ever have any ideas on videos that I can do, I'm always here to take ideas so that I can come up with fresh content. Well, anyway, she went out with this guy, long story short, she went out with this guy and she brought our mutual cousin with her. And all the cousin was asking was simple questions that I advise you guys to ask on a date. All she asked him was what his intentions were. Now, my, keep in mind, this guy is 50. He's at least 50. And she just asked him a simple question. What are your intentions while dating my cousin? And he just went left. He got on the defense. He acted like he didn't understand the question. Like, I don't already told y'all. If a guy gets on the defense, he deflects. He acts like he don't understand the question. He gets angry. That is a red flag. Like, dude, it is a simple question. It's not like she asked you what your social security number was or how many women you slept with. This is a basic gener gener general question that anyone should ask anyone when on a first or second date. And so she gave me the idea that it says, why do men get mad when women find out what their agenda is, their hidden agenda, before they get to achieve that goal? Why is that men are triggered by women who peep game? That is a question, fellas. Like you over here with your hidden agenda, you see a woman, you got your mind made up. I don't already told y'all that a man's plan is to friend zone you, F you, or forever you, period, point blank, end of discussion. We're not going to go back and forth. You can argue with someone else because you're not going to argue with me about that. And with him, I guess his plan was to sleep with my cousin, which people do this every day. They meet people, they sleep with people the same night, and it is what it is. That's just where we're at right now and where it's been being. But because of social media, it's more so in our faces. However, guy, if you just such this player, you got it together, you smooth, you cool, you got money. Like, why do you have to have hidden agendas? That's the first thing I want to know. I need an answer to that. Why do men have hidden agendas to begin with? Why can't you come at a woman giving her the energy that she's giving you and act accordingly? So if she's giving you sexual energy, why don't you just work your way to that in a respectful way? Because if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Why do you have to get on the defense, create lies, manipulate, use your ego, use your money? Why? What is with the games? That's my only question. And when you have a hidden agenda, what do you think? You don't think you're good enough? It makes me question men. Do you not think you're good enough to get the girl and sleep with her just as you are, how you're showing up, the way you look, how you dress, with your financial status? Like, what is it? And for the women that are on these dates, learn how to pick, pick games sooner. The more you date, the more likely you'll be able to see red flags and pick up on patterns and see a guy for who he is. It's not your job to get mad. I used to get so bothered by going out on dates with guys or meeting guys that just wanna have sex. I used to be so bothered. And now it's just like, which it's a rarity that I do meet guys like that. They just be on some different stuff, the guys that I meet lately. However, one will slip in the crack. One will slip right on through. <laughs> and when that happens, what do I do? I just see him for who he is and all right, we don't need to talk no more. Do I give an announcement that we ain't talking no more? No, I don't owe him nothing. I just owe him dust and that's what it's given. It's given dust. So when you're dating and you're like, well, I don't know. I'm not that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not that, I'm just not used to recognizing red flags when they're waving in my face. I'm not programmed to know when a guy is trying to play me or manipulate me or if he has a hidden agenda and things just be going over my head. I'm here to tell you, sis, I've been right where you're at. Green, naive, just dumbfounded sometimes and just wanting to believe a guy for everything that comes out of his mouth because why not? Like, why would he lie? Like, why would he do that? He has no reason. Don't nobody need no reason to lie. And if a guy that's not a good guy, he's going to lie just because he can lie just to see how far the lies can go. So if you're in this situation and you keep hitting a wall with these guys who are trying to pick you up and put you back down, maybe you need to do what I like to call a pause for the cause. And all that means is take a pause and you sit back and you think about what's going on here. Why do I keep attracting these guys? What are these patterns in these guys? Oh, I remember when he did this. You know what? The last two guys I dated, they did the same thing. 
So I know what to look for. Take your pause for the call, sit yourself down and figure out what you're going to do. And you have to come up with a plan. If this happens, this is what I'm going to do. Instead of letting him invite me over to his house and me going over there, I'm going to say no. Instead, you know what? I would prefer if we be somewhere public. And if he quit talking to you after that, that don't mean you start double texting. That don't mean that you decide, well, I don't have a man. I'm lonely. And a couple days later, okay, I'll come over. Absolutely not. When you're going through this process with guys who are dating you and they have a hidden agenda, because there's a lot of them out there. Not all of them, but it's a lot. So if you keep going through these guys, you have to decide that you're going to put your foot down for what you want. And if what you want is a relationship, you have no business settling to just go over to his house for a date. You have no business with just texting all the time and never talking. You have no business with double texting him when all he said was good morning and then you didn't hear from him for a few hours. So now you text and text and text him and he don't respond to you until nine o'clock at night or if at all. You have no business with letting a guy just pick you up and put you down, call you when he wants to, be inconsistent, be up and down all around, tell you this and do that. So when your mind is made up, you will then decide, I'm not going for the okie doke. And a guy will give give off, you will give off that energy to a guy. He will pick up on that. He might still try you because some guys will just to see what they can get away with. And when he does, that's when you stand on what you said you would do, which is not fall for the okie doke, which you will address his mess, which is his hidden agenda. You will ask probing questions. You will respect yourself. You will turn down the house call dates that I actually mentioned in my book, Hello, My Name is Single. I put it in there for a reason. I wrote that book years ago. I released it in 2018. It's 2023. And now more than ever, these house call dates are like at the top of the list. That's how people are dating now. But if you know you don't feel comfortable, you know you don't feel safe, then what you doing over there? You don't have to bend and fold and adjust just to get a man. No. He can adjust for you is what he can do. If he's if he wants to be with you, he can adjust. And a man watching this right now, no, this isn't one-sided. Get out your feelings. I'm saying you pursue, right? So why should she go out of herself to adapt to you when you're pursuing her as is, her authentic self? And if she don't do house calls, why must she do a house call just because you're you? Absolutely not. Get out of your ego, get out of your feelings. And if you're not on this BS of having a hidden agenda, you shouldn't be triggered by this video. Let me know guys what you think about this video. Put the comments there below. If you got it and you're ready to stop dead end dating and you're ready to start seeing, paying attention to these hidden agendas and these patterns and you're ready to break the cycle that you've been on, let me know that you got it in the comments. Outside of that, I'm Coach B. Wiley. Catch me here. TikTok, and Facebook. Talk to you later.